Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our CTC crew, Tammy. Miss. We miss all the vibes that you throw at us. You guys are so amazing! And to our friends at home, trust me, we see the likes, we see the comments, we see the following. Now, if that's not love, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I mean, we can only say thank you for all your support. It's been amazing so far, and we do not want you to stop. Welcome again to another episode of Chatter! Time for a quick work test with our business maven of the day. Hello, Victory. Hi. So, do you fancy yourself work? Work? Are I you work? I work. You are work. That's okay. Hey. All right. So, we're going to be testing how work you are with our work test of the day. So, I'm going to be giving you a few abbreviations that are going to give me the full meaning. Are you ready? All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. CYDM. CYDM. <laughs> I it means check, check your DM. <laughs> okay, let's go number two. I Y K Y K. I Y K Y K. Uh, if you know, no. you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try with this last one now. F O M O. F O M O. Fear of missing out, <laughs> but you were really amazing. <laughs> We will we'll be going on a quick break now, and when we get back, we are going to be having a nice chat with our business maybe of the day. Do not touch that down. We'll be right back. To chatter that counts. It's time to meet our business maybe not the day. Victory Olisedeme describes himself as a celebrity mechanic. He is the founder of First Tech, an organization that specializes in vehicle diagnostics, upgrade modification, mechanical and electrical repairs. In other words, he's a mechanic and we are excited to know more about the celebrity mechanic today. Guys, give it up for Victory! <laughs> I must say, the uh, mechanic line is, there's, there's, there's a way we usually expect mechanics to be, but 
I must say, for a mechanic, you are looking indeed fresh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Can you please tell us, why do you call yourself celebrity mechanic? Oh, okay. Um, so we have very few people in the country that does what I do. Um, we might have thousands of mechanics out there, mm -hmm. but it's very few people that does um, modification, transformation, and the standard of people we are rendering these services to, it's also different. Mm. So we have more of um, the top-notch people, celebrities that patronizes us. So you know, when you are working for a celebrity or more celebrities, you become a celebrity yourself. That's so, right. Yeah. <laughs> so apart from that, um, uh, yeah, our name is Fresh Tech, and I'm the founder of Fresh Tech. And um, it's not just a name, right? Mm. It's a representation of myself is like a reflection of myself mm. so um i might be in the automotive industry but um i'm clean as yeah. for, we see that that's yeah. beautiful mm. <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh, i did a little research here and i found out that you studied computer science in school yeah. and now you're a mechanic so uh i'm more interested in the in the journey like how <laughs> did you move from computer science to becoming a mechanic mm. okay um even my my colleagues in, in school, mm -hmm. when they found out that I am now a mechanic, mm -hmm. they themselves were surprised because they were like, <laughs> you study computer science, all of us were here, uh -huh. and today we are, because I'm almost everywhere, okay. and today you are a mechanic, why, what happened? And um, the thing there is, if you look at vehicles of nowadays, yeah, mm -hmm. there are more of electronics, there are more of computers in it. So I'm applying the computer knowledge in school, mm -hmm into the automotive industry. Mm. That's brilliant. Yeah. That's very creative. <laughs> so that's like um, yeah. killing. So if you look at um, the, the if, you look at, if you look at if you listened where to what she was saying, yeah. vehicle diagnosis, okay. vehicle modification. The, the diagnosis is a very key point, right? You don't just use um, mechanical tools to diagnose. Okay. You need yes. a computer. You need a scanner mm. to diagnose. And you should be able to interpret the fault code okay. or the fault that has been registered in the system. So mm. the knowledge um, that I've gotten in school is something that has really, really helped. Oh, okay. yeah. Wow. yeah, that's really good. So we can see from your Instagram that you have about 200K followers. How did you build such popularity for your brand? Okay, um, we came into limelight when we transformed Peter P Square um a vehicle know. the wrangler I that was our, that, that was actually what really brought us out to a lot mm -hmm. of people mm -hmm. so we're about 30 something k when he posted and immediately he posted it was it was like our phone was going to crash because <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because the amount of followers comments wow. likes that was trooping in was mm -hmm. it was more than expected we didn't yeah. actually expect that you know <laughs> so um it, we grew overnight from 30 something to 90 something That's and so um, later on instablog posted the same thing and um, today not also posted so all those um publicity was actually adding up to our followers Wow, yeah. the power wow. of That's the great. right connection, yeah. right? Wow. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> and did, did this, this, uh, particular, this particular transformation that you did for Peter P Square, yeah. did it, even though it brought you followers, yeah. I mean, but did it also bring you more clients? Like, did people actually say, oh, I want to actually do this thing for yeah. myself as well. Can I do this? Well, um, before, before, Peter, before Peter posted, yeah, we were already self acclaimed celebrity mechanic. Uh, okay. Oh, so yeah. when he posted, it was like a confirmation. Okay. And um, that brought more top, not the kind of clients we're looking yeah. for and um, okay. that can actually pay for the service. Yeah. And um, it, it boosted our sales, you know, mm. it boosted our sales a lot. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's nice. good. <laughs> so the Freedom Events yeah. in your academy can literally pass for a proper graduation. Yeah. I mean, you you actually wore a VC gown. <laughs> so why? I mean, we know that the normal thing that happens in Nigeria yeah. is they buy drinks, they kneel down, they yeah. pray, pray for, for them. them. You know, one or two days. Why did you choose this approach and why is it so important to you? Um, so when I graduated, I actually trained in Nigeria, yeah? Yeah. And when I graduated, 
it wasn't it was nothing to them but to me it was an achievement mm. it was a milestone that was completed and i was proud of myself so when Frostek academy was established um we 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 graduated the first set, the first sets we didn't really have a big ceremony but we recognized them we celebrated them and um, it's something that I've come to say that every graduation will keep improving and will keep yeah. making them feel important. Mm -hmm. And this will motivate them a lot because mm -hmm. they know that for, for me to have been celebrated like this, that's, that means this, this is huge. huge. Yeah. 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 So um, we are trying to, and apart from just being an academy, we are trying to grow it to become um, maybe at the same level with Polytechnic oh, so that okay. instead wow. of just graduating okay. with... Um, with just the certificate, certificate. Uh, some people are not opportune to go to proper school. Yes. Uh, maybe they don't have the money. So that time they will be staying, or that time they will used to go to Polytechnic, mm -hmm. that they will not learn a lot of practical. Yeah. They can use it to learn there and graduate with the First same step. certificate. Okay. So it's like a journey. Actually, that's really that's really good. Good. That's something good. That's something good. Yeah. Okay. So now there are two different individuals out here watching you right now. Yeah. One is still an undergraduate that hasn't gone to the university yet, mm -hmm. and the other has gone to the university and has been in the working space yeah. for a period of time. So now what advice do you have for the one that hasn't gone to the university? Is there any recommended course you think this person should study to be able to do what you do? Okay. And the one that is already in the working space that is feeling like, oh, more this mechanic thing is really what I want to. Yeah. Like, what do, you, what do you think these people should do? Okay, the first, um, the undergraduate, the people that yeah. have not been able to go to school. Mm -hmm. If you also know, we they, we have Frostech Foundation, mm -hmm. where we 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 train people that does not have the opportunity to mm -hmm. pay for the academy or even go to mm -hmm. school. And uh, currently, okay. we have we've been able to train two people that have successfully graduated, mm -hmm. and we have another two people that is under Frostech Foundation. So this the one of, one of the beneficiaries has not even gone to um, um, university, university or polytechnic. Mm -hmm. I think he just finished secondary school and wow. um, he's waiting to go when his parents said, go and take this opportunity. Nice. So it doesn't, you don't have to actually have undergone university. Mm -hmm. as, long, as long as you, you like working, you like fixing things, or the first thing is passion, actually. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't have passion for it, mm -hmm. trust me, you're going to look at it as boring. Right, but when you have the passion, you enjoy what you are doing. Yes. So have the passion, then um, be smart, be patient. Those are the three <laughs> key things that I always tell them. So okay. that thing is going to really boost their understanding in the in the field. Mm -hmm. And um, the second one is the graduates. The graduates, right? Mm -hmm. As you know, I didn't study mechanical engineering or electrical engineering. So it doesn't matter what you studied. If yeah. you really like working on cars or you look at it as this is the career path I want to go to, um, you are open, you are, you are not limited to it, right? It's, there's nothing limiting you. You can go into it and you'll crush it, trust me. We've been able to um, graduate a lot of people, both people that has gone to school, people okay. that has gone to university, mm -hmm. even working people, matured people, we've been able to train these people wow. and they are doing well for themselves. So it doesn't have to, there's nothing stopping you. So what's the difference between the academy and the foundation? Okay, the difference is actually very small different because um, the foundation is giving opportunity to mm -hmm. people that does not have the opportunity, okay. but they are still going to be in the academy to okay. learn. Oh. So yeah, the academy is like the original student that paid for oh. the training. Oh, so people in the foundation don't pay? No. Oh, wow. that's so nice. That's that's nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So, um, um, as a celebrity mechanic, yeah, can you tell us like the top three challenges you faced building this business and how you were able to deal with them? Um, trust me, if anybody tells you it's easy, the person is just trying to deceive you. <laughs> it's never easy. In fact, there is a there is a very big challenge that I'm just coming out from that. <laughs> um, um, it has drained me both financially, um, my time, in fact, mm. a lot. So, you know this comedian, Romeo, yeah? Mm. yeah. Romeo just brought his vehicle and there's nothing we can't fix. Mm. There is no single problem that we can't fix. But when this vehicle came, we fixed all the problems and 
because I like perfection, I saw a little scratch on his bumper and I decided to go and spray it so I can deliver um, excellence, yeah. right? A perfect repair for him. And unfortunately, it was on weekend and our spray boots is not in the workshop where we normally do our regular repairs. So because it was weekend, they were not able to finish the job and they left the vehicle there. So it rained at night, nobody was around and the place got flooded. And for a C300, it's a very complicated vehicle. Even a little water is going to damage a lot of things, right? Oh. So personally, from my own pocket, I spent about 4 million to 5 million naira on that wow. car. And um, oh uh, I'm happy actually now because we've been able to sort out the problems. <laughs> so it's not just about the money, right? Mm. In this business, you actually learn every day. Yeah. So there were things that we didn't know that it was supposed to be like this, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And it is in the process that we're, we're beginning to mm -hmm. found yeah. those things. Mm -hmm. So it's like um, a further mat for that vehicle. You have to put exactly what is there. Because we're working like the normal way and it was just messing everything up. So right now, it's still calling, disturbing, right? But <laughs> um, I'm just telling him the vehicle is going to be ready soon. So that's one part of the challenges in the business. If you don't really think or calculate very well, you're going to mm -hmm. mess everything up. Then the other part is managing staff. It's very difficult. Mm -hmm. So um, you can have staff that they are just there just to come and walk and go. You have other staff that they would want to support you. Mm -hmm. And it's always best to go for people that is going to support you because yeah. there are some times that things are not going to be working out well, right? Mm -hmm. In fact, um, I think recently we encountered certain challenges where work was not really coming in. Mm -hmm. So there was not enough money to pay the staff. Mm -hmm. And some of them were furious, mm -hmm. while some was, they were just like, it's gonna be all right, yeah. right? Yeah. So um, at times, things are not gonna be smooth all the time. It's gonna be rough. So you, all sh you should always pray for people that will support you at all times. Mm. Then another thing is you should have um, staff that listen to you. Yes. And um, it, it's very important when they listen because it saves you a lot of stress. That's very yeah. good. Thank mm. you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, you guys, you have heard the man. He says patience, peace. He says you need to have passion and you also need to have the support of the right people in your corner. Thank you very much, Victory, for your inspiring story. Thank you. Really appreciate you. coming on the show. Yeah. All right. Guys, and with that, we have come to the end of this segment. We're going on a quick break. And when we get back, it'll be time for Beats, Beats and Bars. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> You're right on time for Beat and Bars. Bars. And performing on the CTC stage today is none other but Temi performing Gone for Good by Simi. Temi, take it away. Thank you. <laughs> That you're back in town And I try not to think about it I tried But it's been so long And I thought I moved on But now I really doubt it I do I wonder why you even come It's almost like you have been fine with me But oh, if I set my eyes on you It's unavoidable I'll come one day Oh, I thought you were gone for good So why are you have to pull me back? J.B. you said you put me coming back Oh, damn you, this is really bad J.B. you said you were gone for good Why you have to pull me back? J.B. you said you put me coming back oh, Bad. 
Waiting you do wrong Cause you knew all along I was doing okay without you You know I'm Try to move on Try your heart It's too strong Can't be with you I can't be without you They didn't be yeah. Wonder why you even come It's almost like you have been fun with me But oh, if I set my eyes on you, it's unavoidable, I'll come one day. Oh, I thought you were gone for good. So why you have to pull me back? She be you, sir, you won't be coming back. Oh, damn you, this is really bad. She be you, sir. Amazing. You, you got us all in our feelings. <laughs> yeah. You did so good. Thank you so much for sharing your beautiful talent with us here. Thank you. You guys, don't forget to stream the original song, Gone For Good by Simi. With that, we go on a quick break and when we get back, it will be time for some Chit Chat. chat. See you when we get back. <laughs> Welcome back to Chatter That Count. It is time for chit chat. But before we start chit chatting, let's get into some Colgate chatter. Today we will be talking about flossing and why it is so important to good dental health. Flossing is important because it removes plaque and food particles from between your teeth, which helps to prevent food from residing and decaying in your mouth. Now, this helps to prevent cavities and gum disease. It is also very important to floss, but even more important that you brush your teeth twice daily with Colgate toothpaste. I can't lie, I don't floss every day, but with what I've heard today, I will start flossing from now on. Oh, you better do, Mackenzie. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Temi. So, we are going to move straight into the message of the day. Today's message is from Deborah in Kebby State. So, Deborah says, I just got out of the university and I have so many fears regarding my future, especially regarding my finances. I don't have any skills and I'm not even sure about getting a job soon. How do you handle your fears or concerns about the future? Hmm. 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 <laughs> Deborah, I, I, feel, I feel that, you know, life is not to be rushed. If you rush life, you go choke you. <laughs> you it will choke you. <laughs> So I feel like you should actually pause, take a deep breath, and take life one day at a time. Because yeah. there's really nowhere we're all rushing to. True. At the end of the day, what will be will be. So getting anxious and getting uh, worried. worried about the future is not going to change the future. If the future is bright, it is bright. If it's not, it's not. So <laughs> there's really no cause for getting alarmed yeah, getting I worried mean, i mean it's you just you just finish school yeah so just take out time <laughs> to think like what are your interests what do you like doing and explore those areas and you definitely find something doing because the truth is no one truly has their life planned together immediately after yeah, school exactly it's always 
you're always here and there and there and there. So just like take so, out time to think about the things that you like doing yeah. and explore those areas because it really it really works. So just think about you and your interests and explore them and capitalize on the one that you know that mm. this is like, out of everything I've explored, this is the one I think the works for me very well. Yeah. Yeah. True, yeah. I actually agree with you. Um, truth is, your fears are actually valid. I'm sure nobody came out of school and were like, okay, you know what, this is what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. Unless you are probably like a trust fund kid, you have some backing or something. <laughs> <laughs> Most of us had to like get out of school and then start figuring out what we want, wanted to do. But I would advise that try your hands on different things. That's what I did. I mean, I didn't know what I wanted to do, but then I just kept doing different things, different opportunities that came my way. I took them. Whether I knew, whether I had the skill, whether I had the talent, or I just tried. That's one thing that I feel like you can also apply. Just try. Try anything. Try everything. As long as it's legal, it aligns with your values, try. Just make an effort. You, can, you can't really tell what you'll be great at or what you would if succeed you at if, yeah. if you don't yeah. try. Yeah. And about skills, I understand that some people are born having some kind of skills mm -hmm. but skills can be learned yeah. yeah yeah i mean you don't have any skills understandable but you can learn something like like black boy said he said things that you love to do think about what you love to do then think about a skill that is related to what you love to do mm. and you can learn it i mean come on you can yeah deborah i hope you are listening and one thing we have to say to you today is it's okay to be scared. Mm. It's okay to be afraid. Nobody really has a foolproof plan because anything can happen at any time. Mm. But then mm. you need to remember that the fear of the future may actually push you to do better than you would have done. Yeah. But still do not let that fear limit you because you might become scared and not want to try. Like we said, try. It's better to try and fail than to not try at all. Yeah. And about having a skill, you know, you should just find something of interest, something that you might really, something that will work for you and just try to get better at it. Or you could as well just start up a business because everybody has bills to pay. Mm. You eventually, even data, data money, data money is necessary. You need, <laughs> you need to eventually start up something. You need to find money one way or the other. And we're advising you to follow the right path. And Tebra, City Crew, we have your back. Yeah. We are rooting for you. Yes. So reach out to us. Let us know your progress. Keep coming into our comments, into our messages. We want to know how you are building. We want to see you get better. We have your back. Yeah. And to our friends out there, we want you guys to contribute to this conversation. We want to keep it going. Reach out to us on every social media platform. And with that, we'll be going on a quick break. Where we get back, it's Game, game Time! chatter that counts if you're just joining us we're about to begin the game time today's game is simple it's called memory game here are the rules for 30 seconds an image will be displayed on the screen and within that 30 seconds the ctc crew has to study the image and after that three questions will be displayed on the screen which we have to answer on this board after 30 seconds, we have to swap our boards and score each other. Mind you, you're going to be scoring and reading every of their answers aloud. Is that clear? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Let the games begin. Thank you. In three, two, one, and begin! Ooh. 
Which kind of question is this? <laughs> Time up! Pencils up! Ladies and gentlemen, pass it's your... Was it in Words, please. Thank you, thank you. No more right. Marcus, if I see another cheat? stroke on that board... I'm not writing. If I see another stroke on that I'm board... I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. <clears throat> oh, shit. Give me... Water, thank water, you. Water. Okay. Mm. So I'll start. Why are you starting with mine? Excuse me, I'm the game master, so I can do what I want. Mackenzie, the first question is name four animals you saw in the image. Number one, monkey. Number two, giraffe. Number three, panda. Number four, bear. All correct. correct. <laughs> Number two question is the last hmm, image was, was there a dog was in correct. the image? Yeah. Was there a dog? Did you people see dog? No. I don't know where Mackenzie saw dog. <laughs> <laughs> where did you see dog now? Where did you see dog? The third question, how many elephants are there in the image? But, hmm, two elephants and that is correct. <laughs> so that's three. Abby, two, two over okay. three. Okay, tell me. Okay, I have to lose one knees here with me. Number <laughs> one question. Our answers are giraffe, monkey, koala, and a deer. Deer. Yeah, and they are there all there. correct. There was deer. Number two question. Was there a dog? No. Answer is no, and that's correct. Number three. How many elephants? The answer is two, and that is correct. So, do I mean? So, I have Ruby here. Hey! <laughs> hey! I'm the game master, I must not be um, Name for animals monkey, koala, bear, elephant, all correct. Yeah. Are there any dogs? No, correct. <laughs> How many? How many elephants? You wrote four, sorry, yeah, better look at it. Sorry, yeah, two out of three. Two out of three. I can't get the four. So I'm marking Timmy's scripts. Okay. Sheep, giraffe. Who is sheep? Sheep. 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 Okay. <laughs> sheep. That's a sheep. Okay, that's a sheep. Giraffe, bear, and a deer. Bear and a deer, okay. Correct. 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 Number two, was there any dog? No dog, correct. Yes. And number three, how many elephants are in the picture? Two, correct. Ah, so that's three yeah. over three for Tammy. Yes. Okay. So I'm marking black boys old. <laughs> <laughs> Four animals. Giraffe, panda, bear, monkey, correct? Was there a dog there? No, correct? You must be ashamed of yourself, right? <laughs> 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 you yeah, you call the last one. Call the last one. Call the last one. How many elephants? <laughs> Black boy, why do you write 12? <laughs> How many pictures are here? Is it like How many pictures are here? Is it like I wrote two? Is it like it's two? Okay, the one is okay. a mistake. It's two. Okay, it's two. It's two. It's two. Okay, it's two. It's two. Okay, it's two. Wow. So that is Temi, Toluani, and Black boy! <laughs> they scored the highest in the game. I mean, this was so much fun. And with that, we've come to the end of another episode of... Chatter Black House! <laughs> Remember, we always want to keep the conversation going. Let us know what you think about this episode. Leave your comments on all our social media platforms. Till we see you next time, remember to... Make your life count! You, you saw the Nami and you, Nami and you, 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 you